Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's bird video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the 14 days for today's bird video. Day 10 will take us to the 6th of January and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the extended GFS and ECM ensembles. They run around a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at CFSB2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks and we'll bring you up to date with Stratospect developments. I'll get on that for you in a moment. Just say that we're not live streaming this day 14 day. I still got the, the, the cough and uh, uh, scratch throat and whatnot so uh, i thought you know speaking for an hour i'm not sure not sure <coughs> excuse me i'm not sure but my voice would hold out you know for for, for the hour so i hope that's all right for everybody just a, a video a 10 to 14 day at today hopefully we will get one more live stream in before the uh new year vote so watch your space on that um please like share subscribe and all day videos in contact with the 6 a.m forecast and uh we've also released strap watch as well episode eight so check out those two bits if you'd like to do uh that <laughs> Oh, sorry, everybody. Um, yeah, now bear with me uh, with this one with the cough again, I'm afraid. Just to say that uh, we're into the final hours of voting on the WX Awards. So uh, if you would like to uh, vote for Gals Worthies in two categories, Best YouTuber and Best Meme, then uh, you can find the link to the WX Awards website in the description with this video. Click the vote and uh, that's how you can uh, vote for Gals Worthies. I think voting closed is late this evening. Thank you so much, everybody. Get yeah, that winners announced on New <coughs> on New Year's Day. Right, again, let's have a look at what's going on with strategy of ventilation GFS. Forecast for 10 HPA shows this uh, yellow and green area pushing up from uh, Eastern Europe and the Mediterranean into uh, Russia. That is the beginnings of a major warming of the stratosphere. That is going to strengthen over the uh, coming days. So as we get into the new year, we've got a major warming event taking place here over the uh, Arctic and well over Siberia and Russia, but pushing in towards the Arctic, displacing the polar vortex at its roots and that uh, warming carries on as we go from the first week into the second week of January um, not quite getting rid of a polar vortex though, not quite getting rid of it at 10 HPA but certainly a dramatic weakening going on there on the latest GFS run uh, so this is how the control run is looking again <coughs> excuse me once more everybody again we see this big warming over Russia pushing into uh, the Arctic as well. And uh, we go through from through the first week of January into the second week of January. But the, the polar vortex at its roots are cold blue colours. They are still there, but certainly displaced and weakened a lot. Let's see if we find any that are going for a split yet. So uh, that one is a displacement event. I think that one, again, displacement event. This one seems to be a displacement event too. We've got sort of level of four. Uh, that one looks like it's more splitting the vortex I think on top of ever number five looking like that uh, on top of ever number six again <coughs> with a split the polar vortex on top of member number seven um looks like that on top of member number eight looking like that on top of on top of member number nine looking like that most of them seem to be going for a displacement uh, event of the uh, polar vortex on top of member number 10 looking like that on top of member number 11 looking like that on top of member number 12 uh looks like that on top of member number 13 splitting the vortex on top of member number 14 looks like that on top of member number 15 uh looks like that and also another warming side to get going over Russia there by the end of our sort of member uh 15 was that or 16? Um, ensemble member number 16 splits the vortex. Ensemble member number 17, uh, looks like that. <coughs> ensemble member number 18, again, more or less splitting the vortex. Ensemble member number 19, uh, looking like that. Ensemble member number 20, again, looks like that. Ensemble member number 21. So like that, so I'd get another warming go across southern Europe there on top of member number 22. Looks like that on top of member number 23. Looking like that, that will split the vortex very nicely on top of member number 24. <coughs> Excuse me again, everybody. Looks like that on top of member number 25. Looking like that on top of member number 26. 
Hawks. Like that. Ensemble of Emblem 27. And Ensemble of Emblem 28. Looks like that. Ensemble of Emblem 29. Like that. And Ensemble of Emblem 30. Looks like that. Most of them seem to be going for a displacement event. So in terms of the temperature forecast. Anyway, we'll keep you updated on that. This is um from... <coughs> excuse me, everyone. This is where weather is cool. Uh, the green lines here are uh, the GFS ensembles. This zero line, all important. So any any green light goes under the zero line, that is uh, ensemble that's going for reversal of zonal wings. Uh, I think the chance of a uh, reversal of zonal wings within the 6 10 ensemble suite is um, 26%, uh, 25 26%. I think that's what they're reporting. Uh, yeah, 26% probability uh, of an SSW within the GEF. S. So, you know, it's still not the, the majority outcome, but we do get a technical SSW with a reversal of Dota Wings at 10 HK, 60 degrees north. Um, but it's still a little way off, so we'll keep you updated over the coming days. Okay, central in the temperature. <coughs> <clears throat> is uh, currently sitting at 6.8, that's 2.3 degrees above 61 to 99 average, that is visual to yesterday to the 26th of uh, December. Uh, Central temperature is uh, what I'm talking about, these are GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles, that covers red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average of Banbury today, starting off very mild with Storm Garrett, is it? Um, but we're going to find that the upper air temperatures come down <coughs> over the um, coming days. So by the new year, we're close to average. But we're going back up again around these. It is access another area of both press comes in. But a definite cooling trend here as we go from the first week and on into the second week of January. You see the thick green lines if the GFS 6 then operational run becomes quite cold. Um, no, yeah, you know, there is definitely a cooling trend there. As far as precipitation is concerned, we see precipitation spikes from start to finish looking really quite unsettled. Snow road for Banbury looks like that. Nothing much going on till we get into the new year. But after that, we do see some snow spikes, especially later on. <clears throat> when we go from the uh, first week into the second week, you'll notice that dramatic snow spike just there is, of course, an outlier. Um, uh, it looks like the risk of snow will be increasing through the first week or so of January. Temperature anomalies. <coughs> I'm sorry, once again, everybody, temperature on this was 27th of December, 4th of January, coming out about average, well, a little bit above, averaging the west about average of Scotland, uh, looking very cold across the far north of Europe, you'll notice, and into northwest of Russia, and precipitation uh, anomalies from the 27th of December, 4th of January, above average, another unsettled week to come. The latest wind blow map from EarthNorthSchool.net is bringing low pressure in from off the Atlantic, and got an active weather front, of course, brought lots of heavy rain, been a horrible day today, hasn't it, hasn't we got light here <laughs> at the towers, um, no, uh, yeah, it's been dark, wet, windy, absolutely horrible day, I know there's been a lot of snow over high ground up in Scotland as well, all courtesy of Storm Garrett, you see that very nicely there on the wind flow map, right, let's go through the chart data then, this is how <coughs> the latest UK met your run, it's looking to be tight on Saturday. The next area of low pressure waiting in the winds. That gives a wet and windy spell Saturday into Sunday. Then we're on into westerly winds through into the uh, early part of next week. We get to midday Wednesday. And uh, low pressure winds coming in off the Atlantic. That is coming some colder air that's sitting to the north of the northeast. So rain, possibly even a little bit of snow in with that. I can't. <coughs> Excuse me, <coughs> everybody. Icon, uh, again, with low pressure dominating the weather through the New Year period. Another area of low pressure coming up from southwest on Tuesday, that bringing the risk of rain and snow. And then low pressure begins to take an increasingly southerly track as the jet stream goes southwards here into the middle of next week. So uh, the areas of low pressure trending. <coughs> I'm sorry, once again, the areas of low pressure trending further and further southwards. Uh, allowing colder air to start spreading down from the north there with icon this is how the kma is looking <coughs> <coughs> And again, I'm so sorry once more, everybody. Again, we have this big area of low pressure coming in 
through the new year, bringing lots of wet and windy weather in with it. Low pressures keep coming so January. A mega change later on in the first week of January. High pressure begins to form out to the northwest. We start bringing colder winds for the east and from the northeast with the low pressure going south. So we care about turning things colder through the first week of January. This machine FS midnight run. Again, looking pretty wet and windy through the new year period. That carries on through next week as well. Uh, it's not until we get beyond day 10 that the GFS midnight run starts raising the height sufficiently around Greenland to force these areas of low pressure south. So eventually the GFS midnight run does turn cold with winds going into the north and to the northeast. But it takes a long, long time to get there. Uh, finishing up looking cold and blocked there with a big mid-Atlantic ridge going towards Greenland low pressure over Scandinavia and winds coming in from that northwesterly direction. Takes a long time to get there, but the GFS... <coughs> the GFS midnight run does eventually get colder. This is how the six days looking. Again, low pressure, bringing lots of wet, windy weather through uh, the New Year weekend and carrying on into the early part of next week as well. More low pressure driving in, often down to the second half of next week. But by the end of next week, this is day 10, 26th of January, the uh, heights are rising towards green ice and the low pressure being forced. These was winds going into the north east. So, <coughs> <coughs> the uh, 6N is becoming colder there earlier. So by the 7th of January, we're into a proper sort of north northeasterly. Now those cold northerly winds continue then to the end of run by 10 Delta's ice berm getting into uh, Scotland. Low pressure wind has a go coming in from the Atlantic. That struggles against the block of cold air and high pressure to the northeast. So could be fun and games with that. The GFS, both GFS runs turn cold. <coughs> Both of them turn cold, but the GFS 6 said does it quicker. And, uh, and, and, and yeah, you know, by the end of the next week, the GFS 6 said is, uh, is uh, turning cold, whereas the big night run delays the onset of the cold. Uh, this is how GM is talking. By the way, if you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. It shows you everybody to do that. I know it's a bit annoying hearing coughing away, but uh, hopefully the cough will go soon. But if you enjoyed the video, please you like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody, for uh, doing that. We need to put on around 80, 75 subscribers, I think, to get ourselves to 17.6k. Um, 17.6k. So if you could give us a sub. <coughs> <coughs> so, sorry, once more, I'll tell your friends about to subscribe. That would be absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. GM, again, with low pressure in from the Atlantic through the New Year weekend. Plenty of wet, windy weather to come then. And then on into uh, next week, we find that low pressure keeps on coming. Um, it's not until day 10, but we're just signs that heights begin to rise with greens and ice and. But, uh, so even, even then, you know, it's relatively well in itself, but it's only a little bit colder further north. And then this is how the ECM is looking. And again, wet, windy over the new year weekend. When we get a ridge of high pressure building through the, um, through the middle of next week, that's within somewhat colder air. And uh, we get to a day 9, 10, the low pressure keep coming with the uh, ECM. Not much sign that's turning colder there with the ECM up to uh, up to the end of next week. Um, <coughs> this is the precipitation forecast based on that ECM run from tobettershow.com. Well, well, today is wet weather's out of the way. We're into showering conditions. But that batch of wet and windy weather sweeping in on Saturday. That's bringing snow up in the northern half of the country. Back to wintry showers into Sunday. Um, then we're looking drier for a while oh, next week for more rain getting in. Some winds you ever mixed in with that. And uh, we get two days, nine, ten. They're looking unsettled. Any snow by then, mostly confined to northern regions. These are the options on the table within the ECM ensemble today. <coughs> Excuse me, once more, four day 10 gets us to the 6th of January. 18 members of the ECM ensembles with high pressure blocking around green and ice and low pressure coming in from off the Atlantic. So, um, yeah, we have got a bit of a blocking signal there with the uh, with those 18, but, um, the, but it's not strong enough to send the, the low pressures of the jet stream south. So, up to that point, up to the 6th of January, that's looking relatively mild. But we have got 17 here with stronger blocking around green and ice and sending below pressure more to the southeast <coughs> Jimmy again and that brings wind in from that northeast direction so that's uh that's a much colder option potentially and 16 here 
and high pressure to start to isolate pressure in France and winds again coming in from that cold north east direction. So if you put a 17 there, yeah, we're sitting here. Actually, the majority option is looking quite cold at uh, day 10. And in two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. This will get us to the 11th of January. 21 members of the ECM ensembles with high pressure just out to our west, so looking mostly dry and uh, quite cold with that. We've got uh, 18 with blocking around uh, Greenland and in the <coughs> middle of the North Atlantic with low pressure to our south and east. That could again be bringing winds from cold east or north east direction. And then we've got 12 here with lots of low pressure. We've got, what am I doing? We've got lots of high pressure. I'm really not with it today. Have I lots of high pressure regime from the Atlantic into, <coughs> into uh, west parts of Europe? That's mostly dry, probably quite cold with winds in from the north east direction. Lastly, CFSB2, these are 500 millibar. Height to knowledge breaking down tweet periods. The first tweet period takes from the 27th to 2nd of January. Even next week will be unsettled with low pressure in control. Week 2 <coughs> is the 3rd to the 9th of January. High pressure again in the Atlantic. Low pressure to the east. Winds coming in from a cold northerly or northeasterly direction. Uh, with that, so that's looking colder there into week two. Week three, it's going to be a temp to 16th of January. Top low pressure in Scandinavia. High pressure around Greenland. Winds again coming in from a cold northerly direction, potentially with that. And then week four goes flat and westerly. It's the 17th, 23rd of January. High pressure building men through the med. Low pressure to the north of Scotland. And winds coming in from a milder west or southwest direction. Still with a blocking signal, though, up to the north. Okay, we're done. <coughs> we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please do like, share, and subscribe. Make sure to everybody to give that. Why not drop a comment? Let's know what comes back with all of our videos. And don't forget to tell friends about Gals. Make sure to everybody for doing that. I know it's a little bit annoying hearing me <laughs> coughing away. <coughs> hearing me coughing away um, on the uh, video. So hopefully the cough will start settling down tomorrow, maybe. If not, it's normally about two or three days, isn't it? So if not tomorrow, hopefully by Friday, things will be settling down. Anyway, if you enjoy the video, please do like, share, subscribe, and thank you so much for doing that. So tomorrow we're going to have a 6 a UK weather forecast. It'll be a 10 to 40 day. I think we'll leave the European outlook cough for uh, this week, um, and we'll bring that back, you know, uh, when we get into the new year next week hopefully well definitely um right okay so that's it for your 10 to 14 day you enjoy the rest of your christmas wednesday <coughs> and for this video that's all for now and thank you so much for watching bye for now